It is expected that by February next year, the phase one of the regional headquarters will be complete. The project will be a milestone for the East African Community Partner States. So the total cost of the project was uh, around uh, USD 3.52 million. Uh, but of course, the parent states couldn't get all the funding at the same time. So uh, they advised that we do we do a phased approach of, uh, of construction. Uh, so the first phase uh, is costing around 1.1 uh, million USD. That's the contract amount. Uh, the parent states really had to support us with 1.3 million USD. And then the rest is also going to be supported by the same parent states. According to the acting executive secretary, Isaac Nirwaya, the second phase is expected to kick off uh, during the recent uh, meeting of the Council of Ministers, which uh, took place in November uh, this year, uh, we are likely to have uh, got uh, you know, approval for funding the subsequent phases. That is uh, uh, the second phase and, uh, and, uh, and the third phase. So we expect that uh, by 2023, then we should be able to, uh, the staff should be able to relocate to this place so that we, uh, we occupy the, this, uh, this uh, uh, infrastructure which is here. Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania, which share lake resources, have contributed towards the construction of the project built on a 2.8 acre parcel of land. I think given the circumstances that we are working in, I would really think that we, uh, the, the, the contractors tried. Uh, of course, we know the challenges that have been happening. We have, uh, we are working during this COVID pandemic. Uh, at some point, they had to work day and night to ensure that we are, the project is on track. The Kenyan government has been keen on increasing investments in Lake Victoria as it seeks to promote the blue economy. This project is a testament that really uh, the parent states are able to achieve uh, uh, a lot when, uh, when they are committed to a cause. The refurbishment of Kisumu Inland Port and resumption of meter gauge railway from Nairobi to Kisumu is also expected to open up the region.